What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Storm Silver. This is episode number 61 and today we're going to be taking on the final gym of the game here in Viridian City as we are ready to get ourselves the Earth Badge provided that we can uh, complete the gym and defeat Blue. So that is going to be the goal for this episode. If we can get more than that done, that'd be great. But uh, yeah, so... I believe they just use all different kinds of Pokemon, so hopefully level 68 is enough, because that's where everyone's at, except for Carrasco, because he's just been a killing machine the last uh, couple of episodes with all the crits he's been getting. Um, so, I don't really know who I want to lead off, so I'm just going to lead with uh, Roman for now, and we will uh, go from there, because eruptions are always good. Eruptions are always good indeed. Uh, what is up here? Oh, I felt like there was going to be an item or something. I didn't do too much exploring. Um, oh, and it changed to dusk. Okay, then. Do I have to go all the way around, or can I just go through here? I can just go through here. How was it? Were you able to battle? No, I didn't even go inside yet. Did you not just see me walk up to you? All right, here we go. Yo, legend in the making. The floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon now. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. Oh, last time I think I said that uh, this was supposed to be taking place five years after the fact. Uh, it's actually three years. So red is 13, not 10. Uh, I already have everything all uh, set up here, so... Um, I guess we want to go to this one, because this old... Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't want to do that. I wanted to... I meant, I meant this one to battle this guy. This is going to be a long episode. I hate the teleporter things. Anyway, fight me and see. Anyway, fight you and see what? Did I miss the rest of his sentence? Arabella is going to send out a Doug Trio at level 66. Hopefully we outspeed this. We can't switch out because of Arena Trap. So I will go straight for the Eruption. And we're just going to die to an EQ, I think. Darn it. Really? And I outspeed this thing. And every oh, we actually took that. Wow. Okay, so I think Roman just dies. I mean, that's not going to kill because of the decreased power. Uh, that actually did a lot. Is that a crit? That's not even a crit? Doug Trio really couldn't take Eruption from 69 HP? Well then, okay. Um, did they just use Ground-type Pokemon here? I know they did in uh, the Kanto games, but I'm pretty sure Blue just uses whatever he wants. Um, I don't have any grass moves other than cut. That's not going to kill a Quagsire. Um, so, I'm kind of tempted to just go into Carrasco and just Dragon Pulse it. Because I don't really have much else that I can do. So, that's what I'm going to do. At least we quad resist the uh, water moves if he has it. Like Aqua Tail or whatever. We'll see how much that does. That does over half. At, is that a critical hit? Are you freaking kidding me, Carrasco? He just kills everything with a crit. I've never seen so many crits in my entire life. Nidoqueen. That dies in one hit to several different things. Carrasco could stay in and probably one-shot it with a waterfall. But I'm going to go into Lin. Uh, just because Carrasco's been doing so many different things that I don't want to risk having to take any damage on it. The waterfall, for some reason, doesn't kill. I really just don't want Car uh, Carrasco getting any damage because we may need it. So I'm pretty sure Blue does have an Arcanine, and that could be dangerous. So I really don't have anything else that can deal with it. So Nidoqueen just dies to a Psychic, which is uh, to be expected. I was deceived. Yes, yes, you were deceived. And now we need to heal up Roman because freaking Duck Trio. I don't want to use Lemonade. I want to use a Hyper Potion because we need Roman to be at full health. Because otherwise Eruption does nothing. Apparently it does enough to still kill Duck Trio, which is kind of impressive. Uh, that doesn't do me any good, so we need to get out from there. We need to go this way. And we want to go to this one because this is going to take us to this area. If I go onto the red one, that's going to take me back down and into the same spot again. And so will the blue one. Uh, this one is going to take us down and out, so we want to go to this one. This is a little bit easier than teleporters, because at least you can see kind of where they're taking you. Um, at least w with teleporters, unfortunately, you can't see what's going on. So now, 
Now what? I'm trying to think here. If I go up, that's gonna take me... Okay, that's where I wanna go, because that's gonna take me to that little spot where I can then choose where I wanna go again. And I wanna go up again. That should take me to this spot. Hmm. Now where? This is all a big puzzle. If I go up, that's gonna take me to that spot. If I go over, that's not gonna do me any good. So it looks like this is the only way to go. And now we need to make a decision, I guess. If... I don't know. I really don't know. Do I want to go up the middle? I feel like that could be the right way to go, but I'm not really sure. So I guess the only way to know is to just try it, and that's not the right way. Okay, so we need to go to the one on the right if we want to get to the gym leader. Just to uh, keep that in the back of our minds would be nice. But we're going to have to battle these people. Is this a double battle? Yes, it is. Two Pokemon, Elin and Ida. And we, yeah, it's all ground Pokemon. Claydol and Hippowdon. So that's actually not too bad. The Sandstorm is a thing, but they're not rock types, so it doesn't increase their special defense. Um, I will click Eruption because that hits both of them. And I will click Icy Wind because that hits both of them, and those two moves combined should kill both of them. Just kidding, we see the Protect on the Claydol, so this is not going to be a one-turn battle. As uh, hopefully it'll still be enough combined with Icy Wind, unless Icy Wind misses, to take out that Hippowdon. Roman is still faster than Alex, even with the Choice Scarf, that's ridiculous. Unless I just gave you the Choice Specs back. Um, wow, that almost killed. And the Hippowdon is not able to avoid the attack, so at least we're not going to take any damage this turn other than the Sandstorm. And we get a meaningless critical hit. The crits! Roman, you need to chill. You really need to chill with the crits. Uh, Sandstorm's going to rage, we're both going to get uh, buffeted by it. And now we can take this thing out with a... not a Lava Plume. I guess a Cut and... I am locked in. Cut and Ice Beam should still be enough. And he goes with a double protect, so even if this doesn't kill, we don't have anything to worry about. Why are you just protecting? I don't understand. That did nothing. That really did nothing. So unfortunately, if Icy Wind does not kill, he's going to protect again. I know he is. And thankfully it kills, because I did not want to take more Sandstorm damage. So we would have had to take two more turns of it. Uh, so that is that. For double team, Elin and Ida. Do we have to start all over again? Is that really what this is going to be about? Um, I don't really have much that I can... Oh, wait, wait. I can go back down and do that. And then go to this one, and that should take us to the gym leader. Pretty sure. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. That was a lot faster than I had anticipated. Uh, I don't know what he starts out with. Is it Pidgeot? If it's Pidgeot, I want to lead with Alex because Alex just outspeeds and Oko's it. Yeah, you are still carrying the scarf. That's pathetic, Alex, that Roman is still outspeeding you. Let's just check the speeds really fast. I'm just curious. 179, 119, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. All right, so uh, yeah, I don't know what he leads with. Maybe it's Rhydon, in which case we can just water pulse it. But anyway, let's do this. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Ha ha ha! Heh, Johto's gyms are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. And here we go, without further ado, we are getting into the final gym battle of the game for our 16th final gym, or uh, final badge. I can't even talk. He's gonna lead with Nidoqueen, actually, which is still okay because Alex, I think, can still kill you with an Ice Beam. And that's what I'm gonna go for. We do outspeed thanks to our Choice Scarf. We might actually just outspeed this thing anyway because Nidoqueen is not that fast, in which case uh, Specs would have helped us. Because I don't know if this is gonna die. And uh, no, it does not. And we're gonna have to get hit with a... Whoa, he's setting up Toxic Spikes. Okay, I see you. You're gonna go for a full restore here. I expect him to not be a pushover by any means. Leading with the Nidoqueen to set up the Toxic Spikes, not even bad. Not even bad. That could be a problem. I have no way to get rid of that. I don't 
obviously I don't have a spinner or a defogger, so, well, defog doesn't even do that in this gen, so I don't know why I even mention that, and of course, of course, in the way that only this team could accomplish, we get another freaking crit to just kill that thing in one hit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Machamp. Do I want to go into Kirby? Do I want to go into Lin? If Psyche doesn't kill, pretty sure he just kills us with anything. Uh, on the other hand, he probably also has Stone Edge, so Kirby would just die too. So I guess we have to take a chance with Lin. Lin is more powerful than Kirby. Um, even though Brave Bird is a higher base power move, I trust the special attack power of Lin a little bit more. Level 68. And... Wait a minute, we did not get poisoned. Why did we not get poisoned? I'm confused. What is my ability? Magic Guard. Does it just not poison me at all? If I'm Magic Guard, I thought it did. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna question it. We're just gonna go for Psychic, or do I have to be on the field for a turn so it poisons me after this? I feel like that's not how the mechanic works, though. Anyway, we're going for the Psychic, and it does take the Machamp out in one hit, which is great because I was not about to take a physical hit from that. We probably would have just died. Tyranitar is next. In the sand, I don't think an Aurasphere kills, and Crunch will Oko us. So that leaves us a bit of a problem. Um, we're going to have to go into Kirby and go for the close combat. So I'd much rather hit it on the physical side. We did not get poisoned. I don't know what's going on with that. We'll have to see if any of our other Pokemon do get poisoned when they come in, because otherwise I don't understand what's going on with the toxic spikes, unless I really just missed something. I don't have any poison types on my team. This thing is level 70. What? I don't know if close combat will even kill it. It is choice banded, but it's not stab, and this is a freaking Tyranitar. Ugh, this is scary. This is scary. Come on. And yes, Kirby taking out the T-Tar in one hit. Not even bad. Whew, I'm pretty sure that's his ace if it's level 70. That's outrageous. So the Sandstorm is going to be just dishing out damage for the rest of the battle, which is unfortunate. Rhyperior. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have Rhydon. He has Rhyperior. Doi. Well, that's not good because... Man, so now his special defense is going to be higher. Um, I think I have to go into Carrasco anyway. Uh, I should be able to take a hit from it. I should outspeed it as well. The question is, do I go for a Surf? Okay, now we get poisoned. So I guess it just doesn't poison uh, Pokemon with Magic Guard at all. So I didn't know it. I didn't know the mechanic worked like that in 4th uh, Gen, but apparently that's how it goes. So should I go for the Waterfall and hit it on its much stronger physically defensive side, or hit it at plus one special defense uh, with a Surf? Because Waterfall is my stronger attacking side too. So I think I'm going to go for the Waterfall. It's possible that a plus one special defense, um, its physical defense is still higher. And he also has solid rock, so I don't know. I think either way, it might just take a hit here. Wow, that did nothing. For a four times super effective move, it does nothing, but of course, the new Hacks God, Carrasco, just flinches this thing. If he's not gonna crit it, you might as well flinch it, right? Carrasco is unbelievable. He is unbelievable. I will go for Surf. That's gonna take it out. And. Uh, we're probably going to have to bring Carrasco back in to deal with Arcanine, I would assume, because I don't have anything that can uh, take it on otherwise. I really have nothing for it. So we're going to get some experience there. The Sandstorm is going to rage. We're going to be buffeted by that. So we're going to be hurt by the poison, which is not good because it is wearing Carrasco down. And he is going to go into Gyarados next, and I will go into Blast, even though... We are likely going to get intimidated. I'm pretty sure a Volt Tackle still just kills it. The only question is, if it outspeeds, he's going to go for EQ and probably just kill me. He only has one Pokemon after this. Wow, did this battle go that fast? Did it really? Could have sworn he had Arcanine, too. That must be his last Pokemon. You're not going to bring that out on a Kingdra if you have a Gyarados, so I guess that makes sense. I will go for a Volt Tackle here. We do outspeed it. The only question is, at minus one, will it take out a Gyarados? It's only at level 66, which is a little bit lower than I had anticipated. Can that take it out? Uh, it can. Good job, Blast. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. All kinds of recoil. That's like 75 HP, basically. And the experience is nice. Now we have to get hurt by the Toxic Spikes damage and the Sandstorm. 
So that's going to bring us down below half and... Oh, Executor. He doesn't have Arcanine. Okay. Executor. Fair enough. That is just going to die to an Eruption or a Brave Bird or an Ice Beam or maybe even to Shadow Ball. So I can just basically do whatever I want here. I will... We're going to show off... No, you know what? We're not going to show off Brave Bird. I'm not going to take any chances because if this thing like sets up Trick Room or something, I am not about to play Reckless to start showing stuff off in this gym battle. We're just going to go in and use Eruption, and that'll be it. Unless you have an Okaberry, or Okaberry, or however you pronounce it. Hey, 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 you're unprepared for this. We'll knock you down. I don't think you're knocking me down with an Executor. Roman is not about to have that. In fact, I would not be surprised if he crit you here just to add insult to injury, because that's what he does. Roman does that to everybody. He even does it to himself. So that HP bar is flying down about as fast as it's going to fly down in this game. And no crit, but that Executor is gone, which means we have 16 badges, ladies and gents, as we have defeated Blue. This is the real power of Johto. Yeah, seriously, what were you doing making fun of my region like that, man? No way! How the heck did I lose to you? Tch, alright, here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. So, he's going to hand over the final badge of the game, the Earth Badge. And we're also going to get a TM. With this badge, you'll be able to use the HM Move Rock Climb. Here, take this as well. And we get TM92. I don't know what that is. Um... Trick Room! Oh, maybe he was going to use Trick Room. I was... Wow, I was kind of being facetious about that. It's, I felt like that was kind of a long shot for Executor to use it, but I guess he was. In hope that I'll triumph over you, here's my phone number. So he's going to register himself in the Poke Gear, just like all of the gym leaders do. And... All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday, don't you forget it. Okay, so with that being said... We can uh, just go back to the beginning. So I'm just going to speed that up because there is no reason for that. And we can go heal ourselves up as well. Oh, Professor Oak is calling us. Probably telling us to stop by. Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. Actually, no, you didn't because I was just there. I was literally just there last episode. And you said that I had to come back after I got all the badges, so you just... You're lying to my face, and I don't like it. I don't like it. So, we need to get ourselves healed up, because, like, everybody on our team is poisoned. How long have I been recording? Uh, not even 20 minutes, so we can go back and uh, check out Pallet Town. There's also a trainer that we didn't battle, so we can do that as well. Because I know I missed at least one over here. I don't know where. Where was it? Where was the trainer that I missed? Was it you? I feel like it was you. Yes, it was. All right, let's do this. If trainers meet, the first thing to do is battle. All right, school kid Danny, who has a Mr. Mime, level 62. And I will go for an ice beam. Mr. Mime actually has pretty decent special defense, so he may just take this. Has crap HP, though, so he may not. Eh, he still does, and he's going to go for a psychic. We should be able to take that just fine, because this is a Glaceon. Yeah, that didn't really do that much at all. We will continue to spam Ice Beam here. As Mr. Mime is going to go down, we get a critical hit that is completely meaningless. Just the fact that we're racking up crits like we are is just ridiculous. Camera ups. I wish I wasn't locked into a move, because I can go for Water Pulse. Um, I guess I have to go into Carrasco. Carrasco's kind of pulling away from everybody as far as levels are concerned. Uh, I'll go for the Surf. And that should take you out, because you're a camera up. We should do some exploring in Viridian Forest, too. Maybe we'll do that next time. Uh, Don Fan, I will keep Carrasco out for that. We'll go for Surf, because Don Fan's special defense is a lot worse than its physical defense. So, I doubt you're going to take this. Nope, nope, nope. And Sturdy doesn't have the uh, mechanic where you're going to survive on one in this gen. So, that's good for us. And that does it for School Kid Danny. All right, so now we can head back to Pallet Town. We're going to have to walk through all this grass coming back, but that's okay. And I knew it's the last step before we get out is going to be a wild Pokemon. Of course. Of course. So back to the lab we go. And we'll see what he has to say. Good to see you. This is what I've wanted to give you. 
and he's going to give us HMO8, which is Rock Climb. That hidden machine contains the move Rock Climb. When you teach it to a Pokemon, you can go up rock walls that have steps carved in them. Those badges are, wow, you have not only become the Johto champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done. Hmm, no wonder I sensed something in you when we met. Tell you what, Kalination, I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case. Go on to the Pokemon League reception gate. You can reach Mount Silver from there. It might be worth checking out Viridian Forest, too. I've heard odd reports about it. Okay. So I don't know if we can rematch the Elite Four and if they change their Pokemon. I feel like they do. Uh, maybe I should look that up just so that we don't waste our time with that. Because if they do change or increase their levels or whatever, I kind of want to rematch them. And if they don't, then I kind of want to uh, not worry about it. So let's head back to Viridian City. I, I know I could use Repels. Level 48 Rattata. Okay, then. I'm just going to speed this up as we head on back. Somehow I didn't get attacked by wild Pokemon through those last couple of things. And we have a graphical glitch because I was holding down the speed button. And back to the Pokemon Center we go. Because we did use a couple of Ice Beams and Alex did get hurt, which is unfortunate. Alright, so that's actually, I think, I think I want to call it an episode here. It's been about 21, 22 minutes, so that's good enough. We got ourselves the 16th badge and... I think uh, next time we're going to do some exploring in Viridian Forest because we can actually do a cool little event there if I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken, but I don't think I am in this particular instance. So we're going to do that, see what that's all about. We can also capture the remaining legendary birds now that we have the 16 badges. So uh, Moltres and Zapdos should be available to us so we can do that as well. I don't think we're going to do all of that next time. We'll see. Uh, how we make out as far as time is concerned uh, but that's gonna be it for this time I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do and I will see you all next time and until then game on